Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can convert a console model that you have clicked through and created, as you can see I've done here, and save it into a text file, basically like an input file that is, uh, you then can use to recreate your model in, in a later time. So typically, the, the console files that are saved are uh, MPH format, and it's not an easy file format to work with, of course. And, in Abacus Ansys and many other finite element solvers, you can have an input file that has commands that generates your model and runs it. You can actually do the same in console multiphysics. So I'll show you here how you do it. So uh, the easiest way is just go to File. Once you have your model set up, um, you click on File and you click Save As. And you pick a directory. And then under its file type, you click Java. So I'm going to save this here as Java. I'm going to call it test.java and then I'm going to create a new empty window here and I'm going to go back and see what file we just created. We just created this file here. It's a test.java file. So what is this? It's a, a file that contains all the activity that was created when I made this model. All the different steps I went through to create it are listed in this file. So it's kind of a high level input file similar to what's done in other finite element sol solvers. In fact, it, you can think of it as perhaps even more advanced in some way, because it allows you to exercise the GUI properties from a Java file. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so if you're not aware of that, that's, that's a kind of a cool hint. You can then edit this as, as you like and um, whatever, have a for loops, uh, if statements, etc., which can be quite powerful in some cases. Um, what I want to do here, though, is, is to show you how you use this file. This file by itself can't be used. It's a Java file. Uh, it's a computer language. It's a general purpose language. And uh, to use it, you actually have to convert this file into a object file in, in the class format. So I have a file here that shows you how you can convert this Java file into something more useful. So here is a little bat file for Windows computer. It says it sets a variable p to be a path to where the current version of console is located on my computer. It sets a variable f to be the name of the file, in this case, test. And then to com convert this Java file into a class file, I just run a console compile executable that comes with console. And I just provide an argument, which is the Java file. So let's take a look. I'm going to double click on this. And uh, it's now compiling my Java file into a class file for me. It's a one-time activity. Once you convert it to an object class file, uh, you can't edit it anymore. So it's a little different step there than, than Abacus Rances in terms of input files. But here is the class file. That's the one we can use. So if I go back to console now, I can file, open, and uh, I can compile Java file. Here it is. I can read this in, and this will now instruct console to go through all of those commands that were written in this file. So that's a way to set up console multiphysics to use an input file in a similar way, to some extent at least, to other finite element solvers. And it gives you a lot of flexibility to, to do all of this, and you can drive the console GUI through this Java interface. It's pretty cool. So take a look at that. Right now, it also uh, has commands for solving this system. So it's starting to solve my FE model. So you can take away that from the Java file if you don't want to do that. But that's really all I want to show in this little uh, hint here. Uh, if you have any questions on this, just write it in the questions below.